Hagen got a lot of work done to it last night. Yeah. Uh, not that it needed a lot, but it got tightened up, and it's in good shape. Uh, Dace Fisher in the 55, Clint Peterson in the 2E, and Trevor Janot in the 24X. Looks like, I think that was the last car coming off the track. And there wasn't much real good that came off that track. Mm -mm, they got wrecked. Even the two that transferred. Yeah. And need, need some love. Willie. Uh, and then we ooh, got that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Willie really turned it up using the nose, too, and I, it makes me question whether he, he did have, like, the no cooling system like you talked about. Yeah, hurry up. You know, get hurry this up over with. Hurry up and get it done. Yeah, we got to get this done or I'm not going to make it. And he was quick to get off the track, too, to get yeah, back to pulled him. right over to the yep, gate. Yep. And I knew I wasn't going to get an interview with him because yeah. he needs the time, plus he can't be out there running exactly. either. So, exactly. You know, I, and I, I might not even have interviewed him even if he wanted to. I would have said, hey, great job. Get out get of out here. Get out of here, yeah. Get working on a thing because we know you're uh, – you're far behind. So, but we got them two cats that got uh, beat into the dirt there right at the end, and uh, maybe we'll see them out here later. Yeah, they they forgot that there was that um, last last the last chance, but the cleanup he did right. at the end, and uh, he discovered it was just sheet metal keeping the tire from turning. So, oh, so maybe he'll come back. Yeah, That's we good. talked after the interview was over. Uh, ben Uher, one of our viewers, always tunes in with us. We appreciate him watching. Uh, He's really impressed with the show so far, and he, he says, keep it up. It's what he likes to see, so thank you. And uh, William, William Mool, <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if he's just giving you a hard time, but he wants to know if Joker runs derbies. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I've been in a car before. Just a time or two. Yeah. Yeah, Joker, I mean, you got a, you got a little bit of experience behind the wheel anyway. Tiny bit. S 16 shows last year. Whew, boy, I'll tell you, uh, we're just, we just turned it up on Facebook here. So we got Constellation number two going to be coming up next. We're live on Facebook thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm. Jeffy doing a good job of giving you a, a free preview here of the action at the Back and Beat Down Day number two. We'll give you a free taste. You get to see the Constellation number two on Facebook. If you like what you're seeing, you Ooh, get to uh, tune freebie. in with us on at DerbyNation.tv and get the rest of the show. There's uh, three more constellations, a truck feature, a last chance cleanup, and then, of course, the main event feature. And, of course, if you get the multi-pass, you can go back and watch everything from yesterday also. So you get, get nice. a good deal on that. You see how everybody got where they're going. And uh, a lot of caddies. Sure. A lot are. of old iron. Not very much new stuff out here. And everybody's making junk. So join yeah. us on Derby Nation TV. Tough deal so far in that first heat. Yeah. Ryan Cap. Working on his Metal Mayhem ride, watching the beat down from his garage. Where's he from? Pretty cool, pretty cool. From Mandan, North Car or North Dakota. Oh, I nice. Think. I think that's where he's from. Yeah. I've seen him before. Uh, I hear engines. So if you're uh, working on a Mayhem ride, send us a photo. Let yeah. us know where you're at with that thing. Because you'll see us there again in a few weeks. Oh, Jackson Gregory is asking who, who ne qualified. Yeah, next weekend, matter of fact. Uh, who qualified from that first concert? He missed it. It was uh, the W4 of Willie Lochner and the 13 of Lauren Chitwood qualified from, from concert number one. Last year's winner, defending champ, number 77, Randy Lanou, coming in in what used to be a wagon. And that thing looks good. Hopefully uh, he's up on the wheel today. Looking through the list, once again, 77 and Randy Lanou. The 008, Chris Moore. The 88, Hugh Benson. 69, Jace Hinton. 2L, LJ Gosted. 02, Chris Williams. 16, Walker Taylor. 36, Sam Williams. 55 is Dace Fisher. 2E is Clint Peterson. And the 24X. Trevor Janot. Yeah, like I said, uh, next week we'll be in uh, Indiana. New location for that, right? Uh, yeah, new last year. New last year, right? right. Yeah. I didn't get to go to that, so it'd be new for me. Uh, Metal Mayhem, a little bit different format than in the past. Got some Spring X teams there, and well, it, 
It was new last year for Turkey Derby, which means it's new this year for Metal Mayhem. Metal Sorry, Mayhem. You were okay. Right. Yeah. All right. I gotta, they all run together for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all Derby. Yeah. Three days this year. And a lot of the uh, same faces, so it's they all. Combined Spring X teams as well as the Metal Mayhem class, so. Uh, three days of action, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in, in uh, Portland, Indiana. Going to be a good show for Derby Icons. Here's your countdown. Green flag out, Jeffy's Fab Farm. Consolation number two underway. And Tui of Peterson. Oh, no, that was the 24X. Comes across the line at Mopar. Uses the nose. Peterson. Oh. And the Galaxy sitting idle for a yeah. second, now moving again. It's too much to call. Just so much. Yeah. Dace Fisher getting pushed sideways there in that 58 Mercury. Swing and a miss. Almost put himself on the berm right. on the left-hand side. Nice catch there. Nice camera work. Where's my Ghostbusters car? He's my pick again. Oh, nice. Yeah, see the driver take a little nap in there? Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. Boy, something about the back of Randy's car, it looks, it looks kind of loose. It's kind of moving up, flexing up and down. You don't get much of this there. So. Those stock leaf springs, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't get much to build with. Impact Derby Products track side cam showing you this action up close. There's a good shot of the new flag. And Dave Fisher trying to get a piece of them. I like that board, that little board. Dave's doing some pushing there. Yeah. Double 08 on the gas. Chris Moore. Yeah. Once again, fans, if you like what you're seeing on Facebook, you can join us on DerbyNation.tv to get the whole show. There's still two more concerts to come. Truck feature, a last chance cleanup, and of course the main event limited weld feature. Lots of action. If you get the multi-pass, you can catch all the action from yesterday also. Uh, nine heats of limited welds and a, and a mod feature that was off the chain. Ouch. Yeah, round and round they go. <laughs> Handed out tattoos right there, double away. Everybody gets one. Walker Taylor in the 16 doing some work. Yeah. Here he comes again. I can hear it. I can't see it though. Pushing Dace all the way down to the end there. Dace lives right across the street. He drove that car across the across the street here and brought it to the fairground. Calls uh, he's part of the backyard boys is what he calls them. Uh huh. Uh, oh, there goes your Ghostbusters. Yeah. Time. Something, something went wrong there because yeah. uh, the car still looks good. Must have crossed the streams. <laughs> Never crossed the streams. You have to be old to understand what that means. Oh, door shot. Yeah. Bounced off it pretty good. Ooh! Now the nose yeah. starting to bend on that 24X if you're not. Bent. Oh, here, here it comes. Oh! oh. Disregard for his own car. Walker Taylor in the 16. Well, what, what's Randy? What's Randy doing over there? Playing the game. Getting stuck in his own stuff there. Yikes! Yeah. Welcome to Sydney, Montana. Yeah, no kidding. Everybody yeah. gets one. Look at the steering wheel, straight up in the air, off to the yeah, right. Gotta love that, it. That thing's bent. Gotta love it. The steering box, hard, hard left. The car's dead. He probably, probably broke the cap. Uh -huh. Impact every part of backside cam. Chrysler in that thing. That's a whole car. Yeah, right? yeah. Y frame. So that yeah. box right up by the firewall is all jacked up. 
I think it was still running a minute ago. Had a little fire. Not so good now. 36 right there taking a shot. That's Sam Williams. You know him. Sam, longtime promoter, Bush and Bash, out here trying to make it remain. Oh, that's not going to help. Oh. Nope, that doesn't help one bit. Huh? The ball going off the Chevy Spindle. Uh, Mark's in there. Ooh, that was a good shot Dace. right on the numbers. You know, that nose hasn't moved very much on that thing. Maybe pushed back a little on the driver's side. I guess with six plates and yeah. whatever in front of the A-arms yeah. is what those things need to uh, stiffen up a little bit. He's been driving it like... Uh, Like he wants it over with. Ooh. Ouch. Wow. Sam Williams has really become a target here <laughs> late in this heat. He is taking some, some hits. There goes that Mercury. Yeah. We'll find Sam. Never a good feeling. Uh, Randy's car. It's an interesting roll the way that that's gone there. Is it, did it break the frame off or is it just. Uh, it's, it's, it's still there. Just peeled. I, I see a lot of cars, uh, station wagons. I don't know if Randy was that way. I think it was. They cut the floor out, they cut the nut out, put the body. Yeah, yeah. Because you can bolt the body either space or solid, you can have a bolt. When you cut the floor out, to put the plate in there, it disconnects the floor pan from that tub, that plate underneath that right. bolts that nut. And uh, that's pretty typical when you don't get both layers underneath that washer. Uh, so it's uh, kind of a trick to run like a tap bolt or all thread all the way through, pierce the floor through the factory nut, and then another nut on washer so you grab both of them. And I can't, you know, I can't say that's not gonna happen when you do that, but it really- uh, It helps, yeah. Yeah, it really uh, slows that down from ripping the floor pan off the- Oh, look at the frame rail on that. 50, that tray. 55, oh, he hit, some, hit somebody in the side. That, that's a good shot to get the wheel on that thing. It's but a good spear. It didn't, uh, it didn't come off. And Sam got a couple by that guy, so you know what this is about. Oh, look at the body move. Yeah. Those straight rail cars, they hold up for a while, and then uh, the bodies just go away on them. It's like Imperials yep. and Galaxies and stuff. Beat like the that. rear doors in them and just right. bend them in front of the wheel. Right, them straight rail cars are... Yeah. Perimeter cars hold up with the rockers, but those things... Uh, a lot of sheet metal action on those, for sure. Yeah. I think Randy will... Looking pretty good right here. Just Walker. trying to... Get Walker Taylor dead. here in the 16, trying to make something happen. Randy Lanou in the 77, Sam Williams in the 36, Dace Fisher in the 55. Looks like Randy's car got the tray and the floor pan at the same time right off of there. That right spring might be bowed up over there. Yeah. It's hard to tell from right here. But, um, all these wagons have OEM springs in them. Uh, so, there's a shot. Can't see hard it, tell. The Galaxy's, or that, that Mercury's taking a beating on the front end yeah. and still steering. I'm, I'm impressed because that's usually the weak link on those things is uh, you know, box and the rear high steering. rods, the either arm, you know, stuff like that. Two more constantly still to go here, as well as a truck feature, a cleanup feature, and the main event feature event. If you like what you're watching here on Facebook, thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm, you can uh, get the whole show on DerbyNation.tv. Pick it up, get the multi-pass, and you can watch everything from yesterday also, which had nine heats of non-stop action, as well as an off-the-chain mod class feature. Those guys used up their cars and did some hit. 16 car just keep handing it out. 
Aaron Wheeler, thanks for watching. Appreciate, appreciate your message there on the DCD fan chat page. Ouch. There goes the ball joint. Aaron Wheeler is watching from Rockville, Indiana with Zayden and Brandon and uh, Mikey as well. Zayden and Brandon are two of our favorite fans. We appreciate them tuning in. Love the little viewers, so thank you very much. <laughs> Travis. Travis, Travis, Travis. You see that passing? Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, good shot there. Passing the rear door on base's machine is just beat all the way into the tank protector. Yes, Travis Neville, Sam is still out there. Still running, buddy. That lower ball joint saving his butt right now. It is hanging in there. Got another one watching from home. Oh, Travis isn't, but he should be. Yeah. This is definitely worth watching. Just get the one day and watch the rest of the night. There's plenty more to go. Yep. I hope he's watching free on Facebook right now. Winding down. Everybody's hurt. Problems, oh. hot, steering, tires. Wheel laid over on the 55. Yeah. Rear end moves around in there. Leaf springs. Well, he's asked Broke. for everything you can ask for out of this car. Oh, yeah. Both, both wheels look like that. Good run on this part. Nothing to be ashamed of there. No. Can't say anything bad. He's out there one doing it. We're yeah. in here talking about it, so. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's making it work, too. He's not driving that thing home tonight. No. Getting a goodie out of that one. <laughs> Sam, I think both those are going to be oh, stuck right there. Dug himself in there a little bit. 16 and the 77. Randy's still re wheeling around Might here. Might be moving on. Randy's taking a good look at the situation. Backing up, gets a look. Sam's waving for everything he can. Randy turns it around. I don't know who made the last hit there. It might have been Sam. But you know, the 16 was sort of rocking back and forth. And the new puts a shot on him to make sure it counts. Brandon J. Eldridge watching from Kentucky. Watching from work. You, know, you should be doing some work while you're there. The new made the hits. What do we got going to the championship, Caleb? Math, uh, Jeremy Matthew Shook watching with Jeremy in Austin uh, from Hidalgo, Illinois. Let's see who the second finisher is here. Sam Williams. Sam Williams is your finisher as well. He's got some work to do. Joker on the track for the Jeffy's Fab Farm on track interviews. He's going to try to catch somebody. Chris Moore in the 008 gets the Mad Dog Award. How are you, stud? Good. How are you? Haven't good, talked man. to you for a while. I know. Good seeing you, man. You look good. Well, tell me. Got everything you could out of that. Uh, Holy almost. crap. I, w I just hope that lower ball joint is going to hang on. I could see it just flopping in there. And when it went, I was Randy hoping that they were bad enough really that we could hold them. So, chance. no, it went really well. Close. So Close. Yeah. If 16 wasn't bottomed, bottomed out, he would have hit me and I couldn't have got off. Yeah, we were trying to decide who. Yep. It was because it was close there. Yep, yep. yep. I see 16 and sat there for a little bit, and I thought if I could get into 55 deep enough, hopefully it would hold, but I didn't know. You've been here before? You've been here last time. So what's what, your experience of this place, uh, your first time here? It's a lot different. Um, we've never been up in the Montana area. Um, Caleb has done a good job. Um, you know, there's a lot of rule clarifications and stuff that we didn't know about. But, I mean, they worked with us, and it's been so far a great show. So we're excited to be in the future with a bunch of stud drivers. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? Anything people you want to thank? Nope. Just want to thank Derby TV, Derby TV for doing all this stuff. They do an awesome job. All right. We'll see you later. Sam Williams giving a nice on-track interview there. Jeffy's Fab Prime on-track interview with Joker. Mac Rochel out there wandering around, taking a look at that 55 at Dace Fisher. Grab some. We're going to take a little break. Be back with you here in a minute. Let's go, fellas. So close. Oh, man. It was close. It was good. Tight all the way down to the end. I just drew the short straw, I guess. But I had a blast, man. This car, it was a headache the whole time. I'm glad I got to come out here and wreck the thing. Why'd you choose this? Uh, I had a different car built, picked out, and it was starting to flake a little bit on the frame. And can't bring something like that to a show like this. My buddy had this one sitting there. He said, there you go. So we built it up. and It had been a fun ride, but it was a headache. So I'd build another one, though. Definitely drove the wheels off of it. Yeah, most literally. Got, got all you could get out of it. Uh, what was it? I get asked that a lot tonight. It's a 58 Mercury Monterey. Where'd you find this? Actually, I picked it up from a guy down in South Dakota. What'd you pay for it? 300 bucks. <laughs> Nice. That's a good buy. There's $2,500 wagons here. Yeah. And you had probably just as much fun. Oh, easily as much fun. Yeah. Right. You. First time here? Second time. I ran here last year, too. I had a 64 Galaxy last year. What do you think about this show and your experience here this weekend? Uh, it's, it was good. I mean, there was a little bit of piss in the morning, but, I mean, that's, that's the way it goes, I guess. But what do you do? Keep it clean anyways. Put up with it. Yep. You gonna be able to bring it out for that uh, last chance heat at the end of the night? I don't know if the back end will hold up or not. I got the ball joints to fix the other fix the other side, but I don't know if the back end's got enough left. Come on, man! You're here. You might as well get everything you got out of it. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, I can get it out. But I expect you to be out here later. <laughs> I'm looking for you. All right. Promises. All right. Uh, congratulations uh, on getting as far as you did and having the fun. Maybe we'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Matt Groeschel with Dace Fisher in the 55. Good run for him. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Clint Peterson, tough break for him. I'm sure we'll see him in.